My boss says he can eat 50 eggs, he can eat 50 eggs. Yeah, but how long? The hour. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the foods that provide the biggest protein hit. How about you, Manny? Um, do you have a skinless grilled chicken breast? Number 20, pork. We have a dish named after that one. Big tasty pork. It's fried pork with regular pork on top. Fun fact, despite the long running ad campaign calling pork the other white meat, pork is actually classified as red meat. Pork is also a good source for vitamins B6 and B12 and a better source of the B vitamin theamine than some other red meats. And when it comes to protein, it has also got you covered there as well. With 3.5 ounces of cooked pork providing almost 26 grams of protein. We know this probably wouldn't convince Jules Winfield to make pig part of his diet, but what about you? I just don't dig on swine, that's all. Why not? Pigs are filthy animals. Number 19, pumpkin seeds. Oh God, everywhere I look, pumpkin atrocities. Care for a pumpkin seed? Many of us only eat pumpkin seeds around Halloween when we roast up the ones from our carved out jack-o'-lantern but we might want to think about making them a more permanent part of our food routine. There are a number of health benefits linked to the nutrients in pumpkin seeds, and for our purposes, the protein numbers are pretty good as well. You'll get 8.6 grams of protein in just one ounce of pumpkin seeds. Throw them in your morning granola, add them to your yogurt, or just grab a handful and enjoy. A pumpkin seed? I think it can be next year's record breaker. Number 18 black beans hang on black beans not pinto beans yes blue zones refer to areas that have longer than usual life expectancies and the official blue zones website hails beans as the world's number one longevity food cheap and healthy beans are to quote the site again the cornerstone of every blue zones diet in the world if that wasn't reason enough to start making them part of your life, then at least those looking for a protein hit will appreciate the 8 grams that come in every half cup of cooked black beans. And sure, there may be some gaseous side effects, but did you know that soaking the beans prior to eating them lowers the toot factor quite a bit? What beans? There's beans? Number 17. Bison I liked his burgers, and their grass-fed, cruelty-free soy bison. While we wouldn't recommend coming face-to-face -face with a bison out in nature, enjoying a nice-cooked serving of bison on your dinner plate is a recommendation we feel good about making. This large animal's meat provides a number of essential nutrients and vitamins, and when it comes to protein, the bison has you covered there as well. The numbers do vary a little depending on who you ask, but in general, a cooked from raw 3 to 4 ounce serving of bison will provide you about 17 to 22 grams of protein. Is it grass fed? Yes. Cruelty free? Is it bison? That one is. Number 16, oats. Nice, healthy oatmeal. Ooh, oatmeal, what a delightful treat. Yes, it's true. Your morning bowl of oatmeal can provide you with a nice hit of protein early in the day. Well, assuming you aren't eating those instant packet oatmeal things. Because while those may be super easy and quite tasty, they also usually have a good amount of added sugars, which isn't how you want to start your day. But if we're talking good old natural raw oats, then you're looking at just over 10 grams of protein per cup and less than one gram of sugar. And don't be intimidated by them either. Making oatmeal from raw oats is super easy. I was going to make Joe's oatmeal. Do you really have to use all five burners? Number 15, broccoli. Eat it. You don't have to do that, Kevin. Oh no, I'm glad this is happening. Yes, we understand that broccoli is a pretty controversial vegetable and that a lot of people from toddlers to Kevin Malone generally dislike it. But you are also probably aware that it is very, very good for you. With loads of nutrients and vitamins, broccoli is one of the smartest vegetable choices you can make and maybe the smartest when it comes to protein as well. At 2.3 grams of protein per cup, it may not seem high in protein compared to some of the other foods on our list, but it does have more protein than most other veggies. Give them hip, troops! We'll show them who's boss! You can never be too careful! Number 14, peanuts slash peanut butter. First, a question. What's the number one problem that you face? When you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Not only does a peanut butter and jelly sandwich bring back fond memories of our childhood, but it also brings a good amount of protein into our growing adult and muscle-building bodies. 
We're talking pure, natural peanut butter here, not the kind with added sugars and such. But just two tablespoons of the stuff has over 7 grams of protein. And if you want even more, use an added grain bread for your next PB&J. If it's packed with whole grains and legumes, each slice can add about another 6 grams of protein to the total. In a rush? No problem. Just grab a handful of peanuts and enjoy 7.3 grams of protein per ounce. PB&J with the crusts cut off. Well, Brian, this is a very nutritious lunch. Number 13. Tofu. Very delicate tofu. Just use, it, just use a fork. While just the word tofu will immediately turn some people off, those looking for a good intake of protein may want to pay attention here, especially those who fall into the vegetarian and vegan categories. If you can't partake in any of the meat or seafood options on our list, then tofu is a great choice for hitting your protein goals. Just one quarter cup of this soy-based food comes with 7 grams of protein. And while it's high in protein, its caloric numbers are pretty low, with a 3.5-ounce serving clocking in at just 144 calories. I did um, shirai, which is like a tofu with a tiny bit of tahini paste, with tofu crumbles that I made in the oven. Number 12. Shellfish. Do you like seafood? I know a good seafood place. Okay. When it comes to getting a chuck of your protein intake from seafood, don't be shellfish. Share the shrimps, crabs, crayfish, and lobsters with your friends, because they need protein too. And under the sea, there are four of the best protein options when it comes to crustaceans. Taking a three ounce serving as the norm, shrimp provide the most protein with 17 grams. Coming in second with 15 grams is crab and tied for third place at 14 grams are lobster and crayfish. Shellfish are also a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, which have been shown to provide numerous benefits for both brain and heart health. Oh, calm down. I'm just going to touch a shrimp. Oh, they're real. Number 11. Quinoa. The name might sound all fancy, but quinoa is just a simple, nutrient-rich edible seed that's easy to cook up and, despite what Peter Griffin's stomach says, it's actually pretty delicious to eat. I can't help it. My body's rejecting it. <laughs> Name? Quinoa. Uh -huh. Sorry, sir, we're full. It can be used in a multitude of ways, from cold quinoa salads to quinoa pancakes. Yes, that's a thing. But we're here to talk about protein, right? So one cup of cooked quinoa provides 8 grams of protein. Also, quinoa is what they call a complete protein, in that it contains all nine essential amino acids that our bodies can't produce on their own. And for anyone avoiding gluten in their diet, quinoa is gluten-free. Try this. Mm. It's quinoa. You actually burn calories while eating it. Number 10. Lean beef. Carmen, Ibrahim, I need my beef. Then I do onions. Then I do potatoes. We have sister. While a diet heavy in red meat is not the healthiest choice, eating it in moderation can be a welcome addition to a healthy diet. And red meat provides plenty of much needed protein for muscle growth and maintenance. When it comes to beef, most experts would also usually suggest sticking to lean beef, as it provides lots of protein with less fat than the non-lean variety. But just how much protein does it have? Well, a three-ounce serving of lean beef will provide your body with almost 25 grams of protein. And the ground beef was excellent. Very lean. <laughs> Number 9. Lentils. First cars. Lentils, almost better than caviar. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Given their staple as a health food, you might assume that lentils are filled with a whole host of vitamins and nutrients. And you would be correct. But would it surprise you to know that lentils are also more than 25% protein? One cup of cooked lentils will fill your body with a rather impressive 17.9 grams of protein, in fact. If you're looking to eat less meat or kick it out of your diet completely, lentils are a great replacement protein-wise, if not taste-wise, for all of us. And besides all of the other nutrients, one cup of lentils also has less than one gram of fats. Can meat say that? Selling two lentil loaves for table six. The lentil loaf's amazing. If you didn't know, you would have thought it was meatloaf. Number eight, cottage cheese. If you're like Steve Carell and have a strong hatred towards cottage cheese, then this entry might not matter to you, regardless of how much protein it has. Oh, God. That is so disgusting. 
<laughs> I haven't eaten cottage cheese in a long time. But let us just point out, it's a lot. In fact, back during World War I, the USDA, in an effort to keep most of the country's meat supply for their soldiers fighting abroad, heavily promoted cottage cheese as a great source of protein. One cup of low-fat cottage cheese is about 25 grams of protein, with that number as high as 28 grams for the non-low-fat variety. Dennis, what is this enticing bowl of white? This? Charlie, that, that's cottage cheese. Number 7. Turkey Will it be you? You're a big one. Have you been working out? A little. Well, you look great. Protein intake is the last thing on most of our minds at Thanksgiving. We're usually just trying to make it through dinner without having an awkward conversation with our weird, drunk by 3 p.m. uncle. But as you sit there on the couch after the meal with your pants button undone watching football, at least know that along with all the calories, you also ingested quite a bit of protein. We're talking turkey, of course, and the fact that just 85 grams of the bird, equal to about two thick slices, provides 24 grams of protein. We're also going to guess that most of us are downing more than just two slices. No, Pass no. the cranberry sauce. We're having mashed potatoes. Ooh, the turkey looks great. Number six, fish. Well, let's do some cheaper chicken or... Uh... Yeah, nope, I'm in a fish mood now. Fish has been established. It was established, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So, three snappers. Some of you may be aware that fish have very beneficial omega-3 fats, which have numerous health benefits. You may also be taking omega-3 capsules or fish oil as part of your daily supplement and vitamin regimen. But did you also realize that fish can be a super valuable part of your protein intake as well? Yes, we understand that using the generic term fish leaves a lot of room for variables, and different types of fish provide different amounts of protein. But just to name a few, a 6-ounce serving of salmon will net you 38 grams of protein, while the same amount of trout gets you 40 grams. Prefer tuna? Well, 6 ounces of that provides a massive 50-gram protein hit. Ah! Tuna. Tuna, 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 tuna. He has a killer job. Number 5. Milk. I see you're drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? Because you're not. You could be drinking whole if you wanted to. We all know about its calcium benefits, but milk has a lot more to offer nutrient-wise than just that. For those that aren't intolerant to lactose, milk really, as the long-running ad campaign told us, does a body good. There are health benefits to moderate milk consumption that shouldn't be ignored. And focusing on the protein goodness, we can tell you that one cup of cow's milk will do your body good to the tune of 8 grams of protein. And despite what we see in movies, it isn't just bad guys that drink milk. Skip breakfast, did we? <laughs> nope. Number four, Greek yogurt. And Greek yogurt. 2% for me. Just the plain is fine for both of us. What is Greek yogurt exactly? Well, to put it simply, Greek yogurt is strained yogurt, meaning most of the whey has been removed, which is why it's thicker than regular yogurt. And speaking of differences compared to regular yogurt, the amount of protein is one that certainly stands out. Exact numbers will vary by brand and the like, but take your typical 6-ounce serving of regular yogurt and you're looking at around 6 grams of protein. Now, take that same 6-ounce serving of Greek yogurt and you're providing your body with up to 17 grams of protein, almost three times as much. Dan and Oikos Greek yogurt. Fuel your pleasure. You guys enjoying this? Very much so. Number 3. Chicken Breast While the old adage that fat equals flavor holds true for chicken, it just so happens that there's another reason to forego the fattier, better-tasting dark meat and choose the chicken breast instead. Part of the reason why chicken breast is so easy to mess up is because it's a super lean cut of meat. There's little to no fat on it. Unless you keep the skin, it's going to be a dry piece of meat. So cooking it properly is where it's at. Protein because not only does white meat have less fat, which is generally a smart dietary choice, but it is also the most protein-rich meat of the bird. Of all the calories you intake per chicken breast, only 20% of them come from fat, while the remaining 80% come from protein. One average-sized chicken breast can deliver as much as 54 grams of protein, or about 31 grams per 100 grams. More breast? What? No! I'm offering you a chicken breast, you boob! Number 2. Almonds 
Do you have almonds? What kind of almonds? Marcona almonds. From what region? Looking to power up your antioxidant intake along with your protein? Well, grab a handful of almonds and kill two nut birds with one stone. Well, actually, almonds are a seed, not a nut, but the results are still the same. One ounce, which is about a fourth cup of almonds, fills you with six grams of protein. Crunchy, tasty, sweet, or savory, always satisfying. Blue Diamond Almonds. If for some reason you really don't like almonds, you can focus on pistachios instead. And these guys provide just under six grams of protein per ounce. And more good news. Pistachios are also rich in antioxidants. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Eggs So what's for breakfast? Eggs, 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 bum, bum, eggs, 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 eggs. Oh my god. Scrambled, hard boiled, soft boiled, sunny side up, deviled, or benedicted are just a few of the many ways one can prepare eggs. It's one of the most versatile foods out there. And as the egg lobby has been telling us for years now, they aren't just for breakfast anymore either, which means a nice hit of protein is always available to egg lovers everywhere. And by hit, we're talking about six grams of the stuff per large egg. Eggs also pair well with so many of the other items mentioned previously that you can easily stack your protein consumption in a multitude of yummy ways. Some of our guests smelled your scrambled eggs and we're wondering if you could make some for them as well. Oh, I don't think I should. Eggs, 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 eggs. Which of these foods is your favorite for getting a good protein fix? Let us know in the comments. Wonderful pistachios. Get cracking. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.